was like amazing. Finally, Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Not Sorry Podcast, brought to you by absolutely nobody. Podcast. This is professional work. It's like, hello, welcome to the gay podcast of gays. I literally said the exact same thing. Did you really? I just said it. I didn't think you said it. How do you know? Because I know these things. Sure. Sure. So this Sunday at uh, WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta get this. I gotta get serious here. This Sunday at WrestleMania, <laughs> you and me. For the WWE Heavyweight Championship, tables, ladders, and chairs, extreme rules, I will beat you down, Hogan. Yeah, sounds good. Let's do that. <laughs> Mid-90s Kevin Nash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a reference to something. Tag team with the Big Show. Get it. Tag team. Tag pat. You know, they should... I would I would tag Big Show in and then just stay outside. Be like, okay, your turn. I think every tag team should be like in a gay relationship, and like at the end of the match they should kiss. I don't think I'd watch that. You wouldn't watch that. Why wouldn't you watch that? What about oh? Because it'd be because it'd be scripted, and I wouldn't believe it. It'd have to be authentic. Uh, like CM Punk. Yeah, he's pretty gay. No, nah, he quit wrestling because. Uh, have you heard that? No, I didn't. Well, I, I haven't followed that stuff in a long time. Uh he quit like a year or two back because. Uh, they were being dicks. <laughs> were they just because of all the fake, stupid soap opera stuff they do now? Yeah, he was like sick of it all. He was like, dude, I hate wrestling now. I quit. I that's why Batista quit, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. he came back, though. Oh, did he? Well, I know he's bit. been doing acting, too. Yeah, he came back for a little bit. I think that's why... Like, I remember Goldberg back in WCW. I think he quit because he was tired of all the fake nonsense. And that was a long time ago. Yeah. Like, CM Punk was going in because he'd wrestle, like, every night doing house shows and shit. But he could never get the main event at WrestleMania. That's weird. I remember him being, like, one of the big people, too. Like, on SmackDown, he was, like, always there. Yeah. And uh, he was, like, WWE Championship. I think he holds, like, the fourth record for longest. And I think he beat Cena in it. Everybody hates Cena. Now. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk. He's not really a jerk. He just sucks. I was watching his matches the other day. <laughs> he fucking does. He sucks, all right? So, I was watching his matches the other day, and I could literally see him calling moves and hear him. He's just like, all right, now, let's do a Cobra Clutch into an Anaconda Rape. <laughs> and I'm just like, what? I can hear you. I see you. <laughs> Man, this is so real. It's like, I'm pretty much there. <laughs> He's like, I'm literally there listening to him call this match. I seriously couldn't do it any better myself. Because now he has, like, uh... Uh, every night he comes on and he does for Raw he's like anybody who wants to challenge me for the United States title can come right on out here and he's he just the worst matches on Monday Night Raw I swear <laughs> it's just so bad but uh anyway you're the guest let's talk about you well that's sucky <laughs> <laughs> you're just like eh, I don't want to talk about me I'm boring what am I supposed to say about myself uh, you could say uh, you have a big dick I could say that. <laughs> why, would I, why would I say that? <laughs> well, you can say anything you want. I mean, this is open mic. Uh, we're not really. Uh, there's no plan. There's no. There's no plan. This is unscripted, and we're doing it uh, live. Well, not really live. Live for me. Live from New York. It's Saturday <laughs> night. Oh no, it's Sunday. It's Sunday night. Oh, I botched it. You did. You fucked it up pretty big. Because I mean, we're totally in New York, but it's only Sunday. Yeah, this is the New York podcast. Not really, actually. We're we're in my mom's basement. Uh, I'm a 32 year old man. The basement's upstairs, though. <laughs> Shh, I'm trying to lie. <laughs> it's got to be a good lie. Uh, I'm about 472 pounds. I have a lot of Cheetos. I like to eat Cheetos. The crunch. I like to put them in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Cheetos in my butt. It tastes pretty good going out and in. Uh, my friend here, he weighs 380 pounds. His name is Phil Donahue. I'm only five years old, too. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so, five-year-old Phil Donahue, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm five years old. I guess my name is Phil now. <laughs> Where do you go to school, Phil? So, anyways, back when I was in second grade, I used to eat glue all the time. Yeah, second grade, even though you're in kindergarten. <laughs> Kindergarten? That was a long time ago. Um, I'm like 50 years old. Oh, <laughs> you're 50 now. We have a time machine, time traveler. I think uh, 
So what year are you from? Who's Phil? <laughs> I didn't even say you were Phil. I said, what year are you from? <laughs> no, seriously, what year are you from? <laughs> don't Can you even stop know. laughing? I don't, I don't think I go on this one anymore. <laughs> no? <laughs> I think I derailed it too much. <laughs> Uh, I lost myself on that train of thought. You did. You lost yourself. Uh. So let's talk about some serious shit after all that fluffy nonsense. Uh, Phil, uh... <laughs> oh, we're still going with that. Your name is going to be forever oh, Phil. Oh, we're still going with that. But, uh, Alec, uh, or Phil, whatever you prefer. Fucking Candy. You want me to call you Candy? I can dig it. Uh, what's your thoughts? <laughs> Right now, I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> All right, you, you want a subject, do you? Here's my thoughts on the weather. <laughs> it fucking sucks. It's cold outside. <laughs> There's clouds. It's windy. Thoughts on dragons. Mythical creature or real? I think it's kind of weird that like, every culture on Earth had like depictions of dragons and like never met each other to share that information. So either it's just coincidence they all thought of the same thing at the same time. Unless they're just dinosaurs. Unless they were dinosaurs with wings? Winged dinosaurs. That breathe fire. Like pterodactyls. Fire-breathing pterodactyls. I could dig it. I could do it. I'd like to ride one of those in the battle. <clears throat> yeah, it'd be like having your own Pokemon? Yeah, it'd be like an aerodactyl that knows flamethrower. See, yeah. this is already believable. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is already believable. Yeah, okay. Oh, crap. So, uh... Since you don't know, since you don't have that deep of thoughts on dragons, except that they actually did exist. <laughs> Not even a symptom of balding. Not even a symptom of balding, huh? My dad was bald at this well, age. You're 50, so I thought you would be balding by now. That's a good sign that I'm not going to go bald since I am 60. The mark of the beast. <laughs> oh my God, you're a double worshipper. <laughs> hey, Obama hasn't put any chips in my brain. Obama, like the Bible said he would. Fucking Obama never put any chips in my brain either. You tell me what the hell you Obama, you boy. You get over here now. You can go have no me Obama telling you what to put in your brain. It even says in the book of W. Bush <laughs> that the devil Obama will come and put his chips in your brain. Yeah, you heard it here, guys. That uh, Bush is actually Jesus and President Barack is the mark of the beast. You'll see the chips. It'll be 666-bit chips with the mark of the beast. Fucking mark of the beast. That's my name. That's my name now. It's Mark of the Beast. I know. I thought we used the middle name of the for one of my kids, but <laughs> now it doesn't seem as original. <laughs> someone gets around. Someone gets around to Paris. And that means someone be getting around with your daughter. That wouldn't. No. Whoops. No. 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 <laughs> Whoops. No. Uh, no. Orlando is not a whore. Orlando is a very classy young lady. Sweet. Yeah. Unlike your mom. Ouch. Ooh. Whatever you say, Phil. I'm still Phil. <laughs> People at work call me Eric. That's how far off they have my name sometimes. Eric? That's pretty close. It's closer than Phil. More or less. <laughs> well, what's your thoughts about the Mark of the Beast? The Mark of the Beast? I don't think the Mark of the Beast has anything to do with anything because Satan does not exist. If he did, then I would worship him like he was my dick. Fascinating. This is fascinating stuff. Yeah, Mark of the Beast, not real. Uh, all you God believers out there, you're with Phil. Phil's a God believer, aren't you, Phil? No. <laughs> <laughs> Phil believes in Jesus Christ. He believes he is his Lord and Savior. And will one day come back to reclaim him up to heaven in the pearly gates of the clouds because stars are actually put in the sky by the government to trick you into believing science, just like the moon. It's just a spotlight in the sky. There is no real moon, and anyone who thinks so is going to go straight to hell, you hear me? They're going to go straight to hell in a handbasket because that's just the way God is. When did I become a fictional character? <laughs> Dude, we're all fictional characters. None of us are real. None of us are real, man. It's all conspiracy. The government made me fictional. <laughs> the government made you fictional. Yes. They erased me and made me a non-person. You're a non-believer. You best believe in Jesus or Jesus is going to come back and nail you right in the ass. This is completely backwards from like a minute ago. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Like I don't even I don't even caught the transition there. This is a hundred percent different. Well, nobody said we have to stay on task. 
Apparently. <clears throat> ah, do you know who Anita Sarkeesian is? No. You don't know who Anita Sarkeesian is? No. Well, what is wrong with you? I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> who is that? See, Phil doesn't know who that is, and I don't care who it is, so there you go. Yeah, the feminazis. What is your idea of feminism? Do you agree with it? you think all men should have their balls cut off and replaced with vaginas? Well, if we're looking at that interpretation of it, I'm not keen on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think all men should be women, and all women should be women. <laughs> now, I think that would lead to extinction very fast. I think that would lead to the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is apparently a penis. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God, no. Don't you tell the feminists that. <laughs> Fuck, the God believe in feminists, and then I'll be like trying to cut our dicks off. Mark the beast. There's really nothing different with the way they are now, apparently. Yeah, I know. Crazy shit, man. That's why I had 666 tattooed around my dick. That ought to teach them a lesson. Yeah, it's Mark of the Beast. What is the Mark of the Beast? Isn't it just 666? I think it's supposed to be on your hand. Like, I honestly think it's like a hand thing. It's a hand so, thing? A microchip in the back of your head. Besides being a microchip, which wasn't in the Bible, it doesn't even make sense it to be in the back of your head. Yeah. I feel like they're really stretching it. Yeah. You hear that, Paige? You're fucking an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like it's a stretch. I mean, no one wants to be probed anywhere, but I think the extrapolation's a bit extreme. Seriously, though, that's just stupid. Like, who? They're not going to microchip us all. When are they going to do it? Are they going to shoot me down? Are they going to microchip my corpse for resisting? There's a thing called the Constitution, and it's not going to allow that. I mean, yeah, the government are a bunch of jerks, but I think there's a point where it crosses into fiction. Yeah, well... And besides, the person to report on was Brian Williams, who literally said that he was in an aircraft that like exploded on the way to Iraq, <laughs> and yet he's still somehow alive. I'm still alive. So... I was on a UFO over Iraq. I'm still alive. I mean, he honestly just got fired for like lying about everything on the news. Yeah. I'm sure he's totally believable on something like this. What was he on, Fox? He's on NBC. Oh. Now, everyone on Fox lies by default. We know that. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. Fox News. <clears throat> yeah, it was reported by someone who's a notorious liar. It'd be like if Charles Manson told me it was going to happen. So, yeah, that makes sense. Go but, back to your cage. <clears throat> but, uh, what was I talking about? Anita Sarkeesian? Yeah. She started a Kickstarter, and she was going to do, like, eight or nine YouTube videos over tropes in video games versus women. <clears throat> yeah. And she wanted, I think, like 8000 or some odd dollars to do this. Does it take any money to make a YouTube video? Right, it doesn't take any money to make a YouTube video. I'm probably going to post this on YouTube, but it didn't take us nothing but time, peoples. Time's more valuable than money. But she ended, up getting, like, she ended up getting uh, like $143,000. That's insane. And she's only made three videos. None of them were in the order, and she just started a new series out of like thin air. Cool, so she just stole people's money. So she just stole people's money. And people are still donating to her. Fucking feminist. People stealing money. What hey. a man thing to do. Oh my <laughs> god, she's a man. She must be a man. But, uh, if anything, we should become feminists. I used to like, hey, I need a hundred bucks for a good microphone so I can narrate this. Or I need money for a camera. And I need <laughs> I need a hundred thousand dollars to buy a new car for these series of videos I'm not going to make. <laughs> That's this, like a good year's salary. That's like two years of salary. This car will help me make my videos. Please buy it for me. Have you ever been on Kickstarter? No. <laughs> I've heard people are like, put Kickstarters up for like their son's birthdays and shit. Like, buy my son a PS4 for his birthday <laughs> Kickstarter. Can like, I do that? Yeah. Buy me a laptop because I want one. People are just throwing their money at this shit. Like, there um... Was there was that news story a couple months ago, or like a year ago, where someone like made a joke one, like, hey, help me make potato salad, and he raised like $10,000. <laughs> and it's like, now that guy knows what he's doing. Uh, People are like, that's funny. Let's fund his potato salad. It's funny, because I watched a South Park episode last night about Kickstarter and how these guys, they started a company, they called it the Washington Redskins, <laughs> and they weren't going to do anything, and their Kickstarter was like $3 billion, and they were almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, Cartman and all of them, they were just, like, just stupid. People are stupid these days. <laughs> I've seen, there's been a couple of times in the past where, like, ba a band will be like, hey, we need a Kickstarter so we can make our next album. It's like, why? And now what your record contract does? Yeah. Don't. <laughs> or if you make an album with somebody and it's good enough to sell, shouldn't it already be? <laughs> yeah. Like, I've seen, like, what, what group was it? Like, TLC or something wanted to make another album. They're like, hey, we should get money from Kickstarter. That's familiar. Who the hell is that? Uh, they did that Don't Go Chasing Waterfall song. Oh. And maybe other stuff. I don't know. Don't them. go chasing waterfalls. waterfalls. Yeah, I don't know any other song by them. Me neither. Uh, 
That guy in that movie quoted it, and the other guys, he was like always quoting TLC. <laughs> Remember Excellent. that? He was like... I didn't watch that movie. Really? It was pretty good. I don't like movies that much anymore. I don't watch a whole lot of them. I don't either. That's because they all are the same shit that's been rehatched over and over again. Yeah, like, what are they... They're gonna. They're thinking about making a remake of Indiana Jones. It's like, why? Right. <clears throat> With that stupid Chris Pratt guy in it. I don't like him. No, if it's not Harrison Ford, it's not Indiana Jones, bro. Yeah. Like, hey, why don't we just do a remake of Star Wars to come out the same time as Episode Seven? <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty much like... And they'd have, like... Harrison Ford played Ben. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't make any damn sense. They're like, oh, who's going to play Luke Skywalker? Oh, let's bring in that kid from the Facebook movie. Yay. <laughs> who's going to play Jabba the Hutt? Hey, let's have Seth Rogen voice him. Let's have, uh, no, let's have, uh, fuck. PewDiePie. PewDiePie, do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't watch that. I haven't watched PewDiePie. I think I'll watch one of his videos once just because I was curious. I just don't even want to. Why are so many people subscribed to him, bro? I think if you take the number of subscribers and divide it by a billion, that's the age of the people who watch his movies. What uh, is it, like 11? I was thinking 12. he just made like a billion accounts and just sort of started to himself. That would be the only other explanation. Because that's just too stupid. What was that Fred kid? That he used to be famous on YouTube. Yeah, because he talked like he sucked helium all the time. I mean, he sucked something all the time. But <laughs> I just I, I couldn't understand it. Sucked it. And they made movies in a TV show. <laughs> We made a TV show of The Annoying Orange, too. Yeah, I don't understand the concepts of movie making and all that. See, on the YouTube, The Annoying Orange was actually kind of funny sometimes, but as a TV show, it was just dumb. There's a lot of shit on YouTube that I just don't watch anymore. Either it's too stupid or it's like like uh, Smosh. I don't watch Smosh anymore. God, they suck. Holy yeah, cow. Like I remember back, I used to watch them and they were hilarious, and then I started watching them and they were just like, I don't what did understand. you do? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it was them or me. I just nah, didn't find them interesting. Well, I still find their old stuff funny. I go back and watch those old videos, and they still make me laugh. And I see the new stuff. It's like this. This the same people. Yeah. Obviously, I still find the same stuff funny, but this isn't funny. Yeah, I don't get it either. I mean, they've been doing this for what almost ten years now. I've got to run out of steam eventually. Maybe they just ran out of steam. Well, of course, it'd be hard to stop. It's like, how do you stop when you're like one of the like the second most subscribed channel on YouTube? Yeah. Just be like, oh, hey, we're done. <clears throat> And they make good money, man. Uh, I think mom was telling me the other day, you know, because I live in my mom's basement on 400 and... How many pounds did I say it was? Three? I don't know. I thought it was 480? I don't know. I don't even know who I am. <laughs> I'm so many people. Phil, Candy, and Alec. Uh, <clears throat> I'm 480 pounds, I guess. But uh, she was telling me that somebody posted a video and it went viral and they made like... Three million dollars off of it. <laughs> well, like if it's monetized, I think you get like three dollars for every thousand views or so. Yeah, actually, uh, something. I think I it, it depends it like on the six. video. I think it depends on the video. I think I bet people like Smosh probably get a lot. I think the most is seven dollars, and I bet people like them get that because they bring in a lot of views. Yeah. I think something like that, and I think it only works if you monetize it. Like none of my videos are monetized because I don't really want to make money off of it. But like, oh look, eight views. What do I get? Like a penny? I don't even get that much. <laughs> So I was like, I don't see the point. And you have to watch an ad anyways, and I don't want to do that to people either. Yeah, I just have ad skip. <clears throat> yeah, of course, there's people with ad blocker. They don't make, they don't get them any money. And that's something I don't understand about Hulu, honestly. I pay eight ninety nine for Hulu, right? And then they want to force ads down my throat. It's like, weren't you already getting money from my membership? <clears throat> yeah. Imagine if Netflix did that. You wonder if that piss people off. I mean, I like, I actually like Hulu more than I like Netflix because I watch more TV than I do movies. Like yep. uh, South Park, wrestling, all that shit. I know we watch Netflix a lot just because it's got tons of anime on it, and that's good for finding new stuff. Yeah, but uh, Hulu actually has more anime on it, but they have commercials. There's a site called Crunchyroll that's got good anime on it, too. They don't have a lot of commercials. I thought that was a subscription ones. thing. You don't have to subscribe. If you subscribe, it cleans up the interface and takes off ads, but without it, I think it's fine. Product placement. Invest in... What did I just say? Crunchyroll? Hulu. Invest in Hulu. Invest in Hulu. Yeah. <laughs> Product placement. We're, we're sponsored here at the... What, what, what should we name this? New York? Wait, where are we at? <laughs> I don't know. I need to clear my thoughts with a nice cold Pepsi. <laughs> da, da, da. I don't know what their here, song is. Here at the Not Sorry Podcast, we sponsor <laughs> Pepsi. We sponsor Coca-Cola. Walmart. We like Walmart. Um... <laughs> We were just there earlier, and we sponsor Aspen Leaf Frozen Yogurts. If you haven't had one, you should go try one, because they're fucking delicious. And there's probably only one on the whole earth, and it's in the city we're in. New York. It's in New York. It's in New York. 
And if you think that we don't sound New York, it's just because we're putting on accents. Yeah, you racists. Yeah. Forget yeah. forget about it. I was forget about it. <laughs> hey, about a bing. About a bing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oi. Wait. <laughs> Oi, that I told you not to say he's right <laughs> nasty, I tell you what. Uh, Don't in, be stalking on me, mate. I'm not in the mood for your nonsense. We're in New York, Queensland, I guess. <laughs> in New York, are. Queensland, and in England, because why the hell not? We're actually from Skyrim, the province of Morrowind. Oi, I can't think of it. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Oi. Oi. They don't have Oi. accents. They have Oi. those Norwegian accents up there. Oi. When I said that. Yeah. Just talk really, really quiet. You can't even. Now nobody will even hear us. Gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> tag team. Old, old reference. We're a tag team. We'll take on anybody at SummerSlam for the tag team championships. Because uh, me and Apollo Creed here, we can fight anybody. Hooray, I'm black. <laughs> That's that's racist. Calling in the black up. <laughs> the black up, very nice. Very we did nice. that left for dead. I always played as Louis. Now it's the black up. We here at Not Sorry Podcasts are indeed not racist, so uh, we are rather sexist though. If we're dudes, you we don't like you. So get Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, ooh, thoughts on anime? You did mention that mm. earlier. I never used to watch a lot of anime, but I kind of do now, it's sporadically. Sporadically, like in high school, I got through like the first two episodes of the Soul Eater, and then that was it. But now I've seen Soul Eater, I've seen most of Death Note, I've seen one called Psychopath. That was pretty good. Death Note is, is like the best. I think that Death Note is the best anime I think I've ever seen, just because of its complexity and characters. I think my favorite still is just Soul Eater, just because it was it had this it had like the serious stuff, and it was still like tons of fun at the same time. Uh, I started watching one called Assassination Classroom, and it's subbed, but it's really good because. Uh, this so far I've only like, watched four episodes but there's like this alien creature that's like an octopus and he's teaching this classroom and the classroom has to assassinate him within a year or he's going to destroy the earth excellent <laughs> excellent premise like he walks into class the first day and all the kids just pull out guns and try to shoot him <laughs> <laughs> it is it's funny and delicious well they were like psychopaths is like a the future with the computer systems and the cameras, you know, they can see you and tell if you're like crazy and going to commit a crime, and then they'll arrest you if you yeah, come out I've seen, cloudy. I think I've seen the first episode of that. So there was another way found. Well, welcome to NHK was the most recent one. It deals with a guy who's a hikikomori or however you say that word, one of the antisocial people mm. and whatever. Except it's actually really funny because it like makes fun of the people who'd watch that, like otaku and stuff. Yeah. Like it makes fun of them like crazy. It's funny stuff. But uh, it's very meta, I guess is what people say nowadays. It's very meta. Yeah, you know. I'm old school, old fashioned. I don't know what the hell meta means. Meta. It's like it like Metaphysical. It's like self referential sort of thing. Sort of thing. Like it's it's like aware that it's a show. Well not like that, I guess. That's a bit much. I'm aware that I'm a show. Uh well yeah, it's right there. The big show Easy. Easy. Copyright endorsements. We support the WWE, but I really, you know, I really would like to have a 2007 ECW championship, like an actual replica, because they don't make them anymore, and they're like $300 if you go online. I've only found one. It's $300, <laughs> and I want to get it signed by CM Punk. I'm trying to think. I can't remember the last time I watched any of that stuff, because I used to watch it at my dad's house, because they had it on one of the public, t- uh, oh, what channel was that? I don't even remember now. It's like Channel 29, I think. I don't remember what its actual name was. Not UPN, because UPN went out of business before that. It's probably USA. Yeah, it might have been that. Because it was on like one of the public channels where you get on Antenna, and then they moved it to Sci-Fi, so we couldn't watch it. But he'd stopped watching it anyways, because it turned into kind of a soap opera for a while. I love the DX uh, thing. Yeah, because that was what, Shawn Michaels Shawn and Triple H? Triple H. H. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. After that, I just kind of stopped watching it, and then I just recently picked it back up. I was like the Undertaker, but then they kind of made him to the point where he was—he only wrestled at WrestleMania just to win, just so he could stay undefeated there. He, he was did nothing heavyweight else. Heavyweight championship or champion there for like a year. Oh, was he? Yeah. Yeah, I know for a while that he'd only do like a couple of matches here and there, like not even like on a monthly basis. It'd be less than that, and then he'd just pop up at WrestleMania to win. 
So I was like, well, they kind of gimmicked him out because like he had been like renowned for being undefeated for all the WrestleManias, and it got to the point where that's all Till he 30, did. Thirty, I think he lost at thirty. Oh, did he? Yeah. I figured they'd do it eventually at a big number. I thought it was gonna be a twenty-five, but he managed to get through that one. Uh, he's getting old. I think he's what, like 40, 50 years old now. Yeah, I think maybe that's why he doesn't wrestle as much, just because he's getting old. And it's probably hard for him to pick people up and tombstone them. Yeah. Even though he is like twice as big as anyone else. Uh, I think Triple H is a suck ass. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, he, like, married the boss's daughter, and then he runs the company pretty much now. He's just a big suck-ass. I used to really like him, but he just... He's changed my mind. I, I remember I always liked Chris Benoit, but then he went all crazy. Yeah. He killed his family and then killed shh, himself. Shh, we don't talk about that. We don't talk here. about that one. <laughs> <laughs> that is literally kind of what it's like, though, at WWE. Like, if you watched it, they rarely ever talk about it. And when somebody puts him, I think somebody uses the same lock that he used to use. Nobody calls it what it what it used to be called. Hmm. It's like that didn't happen. Or just like write him out of history because of that. Yeah, that's crazy. Eddie Guerrero, they, they talk about, but not Chris. Oh Bale. yeah, they talk about him all the time. Yeah, because I I never actually seen him before I started watching wrestling. I'm like, why do they keep talking about this guy? <laughs> I did. I've been watching wrestling since I was like a tyke. I've been watching it too. Like when my parents were still together, but then when my and when they divorced, I was with my mom all the time, and she didn't watch it. Mm-hmm. So whenever I'd be at my dad's house, we'd watch it there. So there was a point in time, you know, where we didn't see it. I think in between then is when WCW went away. Cause that's what my dad always watched. Cause he liked Sting, he liked Ric Flair, he liked Sting was in last WrestleMania. Really? Yeah, Sting versus Triple H. He's got to be getting old too. Yeah, he is getting old. And that's then Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, and whoever else was in NWO came out. No, I know Hulk Hogan's old. <laughs> He's been around forever. Yeah. It ended up like DX versus NWO. Huh. Shawn Michaels got Sting with a super kick. I say, Spoilers in case anybody... I, I gotta say, Sting's getting pretty old. <laughs> Couldn't believe he made it back. He still wear all his makeup and everything. Yeah, he did. It always reminded me of The Crow. Yeah, that's what he reminded me of too, is The Crow. Oh. Which one came first, The Crow or Sting? I don't know. That's what Google's for. <laughs> <laughs> I liked his music, though. Who Sting's? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he did pretty good work. With. Who was who was he in the Beatles? I think that sounds. I about think right. he was in the Beatles. No, I think he was in One Direction actually. Oh yeah. He was staying uh, in One Direction. I think Michael Jordan just quit One Direction the other day. Michael Jordan? Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah. he wasn't a very good basketball player, but he was a better singer in One Direction. Yeah, I think he's going back to football now. <laughs> yeah, soccer. Not that American bullshit that y'all want. He's going to play for the the United Kingdom Bengals. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any of their I don't know any of their association football teams. I know they have like the names like Liverpool, FC. Just gotta check the time. We've been doing this for half an hour. Yeah, six forty one. Splendid. It's not hard, is it? it? Took like half an hour to set the stupid thing up. I know. <laughs> at least at least we've invested the time into it. I'm <laughs> right. I would have been pissed. We were just like, damn, can't do it. Sexism and feminism. Like, Satan. I gotta go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> so earlier we talked about the real extreme kind. That's full of crap. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm just, I can't believe it, though. Like uh, e- Equality is one thing. Of course I, I believe, believe in equality. That's just natural. But demonizing you know, men and making it unequal is like the opposite of equality. They're not fighting for equality. I think they just feel like they're sour and want revenge. Well, feminism isn't really about equality for both sexes anyway. It's about equality for women, and women have already gained equality, no matter what the minimum wages, gaps, or whatever the hell they're talking about is. Wages are different because women work as teachers, whereas dudes work as, like, rocket designers, right? Rocket designers. <laughs> well, like a lot of the science classes I've been in, it has been predominantly guys in a lot of them. See, that's I why got, I said I, that. because I, I've got a class where we focus on a lot of satellite imagery. And there's only, there's only like, 15 people in the class, but one of them's a girl, and that's it. Yeah, see, that's why women get paid less, because they don't take the better... Yeah, so assuming if everyone in that room went into that field, that means... 14 of every 15 satellite people is a guy. Yeah. So it just kind of narrows it down. Yeah. So I don't want to hear their bitching and moaning about it anymore. Every time I get on the internet, there's a feminist video somewhere. And then I was in a speech class for like education people going into education. There's like 30 people in it. And they were probably only three or four guys, which one of them was me. And like the place I work at, a medical place, there's only three or four guys there. We're all like in the kitchen area. And when it comes to nurses, it's like 100% female. Yeah. I think just some genders tend to just gravitate towards certain jobs. And then the ones who don't want to gravitate, for whatever reason, complain about it. It's like no one's stopping you from being, you know, no one's stopping you from doing any other job. It's not even that they want to do those jobs. They just want to complain about it. Yeah, I guess that's true, too. 
They just want to like raise awareness about something that doesn't really exist. Yeah, women are so prejudiced in the United States where we, you know, drag them to town squares and stone them because other countries don't do that. Because <laughs> we make you cover your face here. Other countries don't do that. Go yeah. wait. Go there and complain. That's where they need it. <laughs> you know, people yeah. need those kind of people in, like, there. Like Iran and shit. Yeah. yeah, where you have to keep your face covered or you get stoned or you get sold as property. That's where they need that kind of stuff. Yeah. Over here, you know, the difference is if, you know... You, if I'm walking down the street, guys aren't going to oogle at me. It's like, well, that's not even They a could. I mean, seriously. Some of them could oogle at me. They could oogle at whoever the hell they wanted to. I don't really. know who would oogle at me. <laughs> I don't really... I don't I'm, see much street calling or anything on the street. Yeah, like I like on campus, when people are walking around all over the place, it's not like a bunch of guys, you know, see a girl and just like, you know, oh, yowza. Yeah. You know, none of that even happens. Usually guys have stuff to do and they have shit on their mind other than women. Yeah, it's not like, oh man, I got so much on my plate. Oh, boobs. damn! Look at them boobs and that ass. We just All I can think about is breasts. <laughs> Let's just harass this bitch for a minute. Hold on a second, we're gonna rape her. Guess I can't pay my rent now that I gotta go take care of that. Now that I gotta go rape this bitch, I'm not gonna go to work so I can pay my rent. Screw that. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird. No one, no one does that. It's stupid. No, yeah, nobody does that shit. There was one up there in Maryville that did do that, but he was like a psycho. Yeah. It's like that's like one out of the ten thousand people that live there. And you know there are laws against this shit. So. Yeah, and he's going to prison, so it's not like, oh, wait, you're a guy. Oh, no, that's totally okay. Keep doing that. You have a dick. Well, go to jail. Yeah. Oh, you've got a penis. That's totally not against the law in that case. Go right ahead and finish. Now we're not MRAs or anything, though, are we? Do what? Men's rights activists. I don't really think there needs to be such a thing. Right. I, I don't mean, think there needs I, to be any rights activists. For I the do most part. agree on some of their points, though. Like. uh uh, child care and shit. Yeah. And the guy having to pay, like, child support for 18 years. Like, what if she raped him? He still has to pay child support for that shit. Yeah, I think it should be, you know, a case-by-case -case thing, sort of. Yeah, like, some of that <coughs> shit does make sense, but not all of it. I've seen a lot of stuff in divorce cases where it seems like, no matter what, the mom still gets the kids. So that seems a bit unbalanced. Yeah. Like, it's overwhelmingly that way. I, I really hard, find it hard to believe that every father in a divorce is just totally useless and ineffective to raise a child. Mm -hmm. You know, usually he's the one that has the job. And it's not like you know, <clears throat> mothers are the only people with instincts to take care of their kids. I mean, it's not like someone has a kid, like a guy, and it's just like, get out of my house. What are you doing? You know. Well, I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like if I had a kid, I would have every instinct to want to take care of it. Right. And but would just is like what makes my instinct less than someone else's because I'm a guy. Well, I don't know. Cats baby daddy took off. Yeah, see, that's something like that. Yeah, that instinct is gone. Like, if I had a child with someone, it's like, what makes their instinct, you know, but obviously, though, he's, better than mine? He, obviously, though, he was a piece of shit. I mean... Yeah. I mean, if, if you're going to do that to somebody, you're obviously a piece of shit. So. Yeah, but like in a normal everyday divorce, you know, where just two people just aren't... Or know, a relationship, period. I yeah, mean, people just don't get along and just want to break up, and then it turns into a mess. So, like, there's no reason to say that, you know... The woman's instincts to take care of the child are greater than the guy's. That's like a really unquantifiable thing. You're unquantifiable. Completely unquantifiable. Satan's cock. Is that the mark of the beast? That's the mark of the beast. Mark of the beast. You hear that page? It's the mark of the beast. Even though she'll never listen to this because... If she does, she's not going to make it 36 minutes in. <laughs> yeah, she's not going to make it 36. We're getting... I doubt anybody makes it 36 uh, minutes in. We're going to get to the point where like it doesn't even matter what we say now because no one's going to get that far. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't give a shit what we say. Emma, I don't even think I'm going to make it 36 minutes in if I go back and listen to it. That's why, I, that's why I'm going to call this. <laughs> this is why I'm going to call this the Not Sorry Podcast because whatever we say, we're really not sorry. Yeah, and it's like, who's going to listen to it? Like I can make like I can make whatever music I want for the four people who will find it. Like I don't even care. I'll do what I want. Those four people don't like it, and screw them. Yeah, do how they two, even find it? Two or three people that have actually made it this far in this video. Uh, congratulations. Got some balls of steel. Got some balls or vaginas. Have a cookie. Got some vagina ovaries of steel. Have ovaries of steel and have a cookie on us. Have some milk with that cookie. It's best that way. The iron cervix. But uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that kind of stuff. That's fine. We just need to get into a God believers. <laughs> we already covered that, didn't we? <laughs> Not well enough. Not well enough. We must spread atheism throughout the land. Ugh. You know, I think more and more people are becoming atheists. Maybe not, but maybe they are. It's a slow process. Yeah. It'll be a really slow process. Well, all it is, though, is like parents are brainwashing their kids at a younger age to believe in God, and then they just believe in God from then in. Yeah, most of them don't really question it. They're just like, oh, yeah, that's what I've been taught. Huh. Yeah.
rocket ships, man, that go to space. We know there's no God in the clouds. Yeah. You know, those stories that came up in a time when, you know, the sky was completely untouchable. It was up there. People don't understand that the sky technically extends all the way to the ground. You know, we're in the sky. Or what about people that believed in, like, Hera and Zeus? Are they all going to hell? Yeah, I mean, their beliefs were every bit of legitimate to them. Yeah. They honestly believed in those deities. They worshipped and prayed to them and got the same stuff. And they went away. He says that there are no starving Christian children in the world. God takes care of all of them. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. It's so <laughs> obvious, I mean. At first he was like, there are no starving children in the world. And then he came back and he was like, no, there are no starving Christian children in the world. If you're starving, you're obviously not Christian enough. Yeah, you need to suck God's dick more if you're a starving child and you're Christianity. Said so a lot of the other beliefs from all over the other times, you know, were just as legitimate to them. I guess technically they all date from the same time. Mm hmm. Really. And they just kind of a. Some of them just got weeded out and destroyed. I remember when we took that mythology class in high school, they said a lot of the stuff about Norse mythology was destroyed by Christian missionaries. And really all we know is just from the few things that didn't get destroyed. There Norse mythology so, was cool. Yeah, there could be so much more about it we don't know because they got rid of it all. Yeah. There could be entire gods, entire stories we just don't know about. I mean, heck, there's already a lot out there, so imagine that was only a small piece of it. I'd like to know some more about the Indian gods. Too bad we massacred all of them. I hear, hear in like North American stuff? Yeah. Yeah, who knows what they did. They just got wiped out. They probably didn't keep good records anyway since most of them are nomadic. Yeah, you know, there's probably a lot of oral stories, you know. Yeah, we didn't wipe all of them out, but there's very few probably that know the old... Yeah, and there could be entire tribes that just didn't survive. Yeah. Or at least villages. I'm sure some villages probably had their own unique stuff that just got wiped out. We were like the Hitlers of the Indian race, if you really think about it. Yeah, sending over smallpox blankets and, yeah, you know, say, hey, guide us through this land so we can develop it and kick you off. That's what Lewis and Clark did. You know, let's explore. Help us explore this so we can eventually, you know, build our railroads through here. I mean, they probably didn't have railroads on the mine back then, but that's what it turned out to be. All right, final topic. Final topic. If you had a time machine, where and what would you go back and do? That's a really hard question. I guess it depends on, you know, like specific subjects. Like there are certain music things I would do. Let's certain... say you have a TARDIS. A TARDIS. <laughs> that doesn't make it any more specific. So you can go back and do whatever you want. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe I just go back to like an earlier time and just live through the history. The history. You're gonna. You want to go back and live through history? Yeah. Like I go back to maybe like the fifties or the sixties and then just plant myself and go forward from there. So you'd like bet on the World Series? Know who the winner was gonna be? I could do that too. Yeah. Because like if do you didn't have any betting. money, it would kind of suck. Yeah, because like I could pull out my money. Yeah. Be like, yeah, here's a. Here's, here's an American a, dollar in England. Yeah, I got a JFK half dollar. It's like, who the hell's JFK? Yeah. <laughs> Who's the president? Ronald Reagan. No, I'm thinking that. Back to the future. I think I'd go back and pet a dinosaur. Or go back and see if dragons existed. Yeah, go back to that. Ride my dragon back through the time vortex. Bring it to the present era and conquer everything. It'd be all like... <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Just like in class. Like in science class when they teach us about dragons. <laughs> if you had a time machine... <laughs> if I had a time machine, I'd have some sort of idea. If I had a time machine, I'd just come back and do it repeatedly in the same spot. In the same spot, so I'll we see you here in five minutes. Yeah, I'd just download the podcast to a flash drive and go back and do it again with different subjects. We can make like a bunch in no time at all. <laughs> yeah. And then I could just release them like once every week and it would be easier. Yeah, it lasts for like a year. Just do it over and over again. Yeah. Well, anybody that made it to 42 seconds... Um, I hope they made it to 42 seconds. 42 seconds? God, 42. that'd be an achievement. 42 minutes, congratulations. Uh, we'll see y'all next time. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. You're gay.